What's going on, everyone? So the upcoming Scream 7 is going to be another Sydney-focused type of Scream film, uh, which, again, I'm all for. Uh, I am in the camp of, like, I would like to see them eventually move off of Sydney, but I understand, given the circumstances and what happened behind the scenes, that this is kind of the safest and best course of action. So here we are. Let's do it. I'm with it, right? Now, in pretty much every Scream movie that Sydney has been in, uh, at least the ones that have been directly linked and tied to her. Scream 5, she was in it, but it, she wasn't really, like, the main target. She just came to avenge Dewey. Uh, but you look at, like, Scream 4, 3, 2, 1. It was always someone close and connected to her. It was somebody that was, like, either in her inner circle, you know, like a, a Billy, a Mickey, right? Or it was a family member, her brother, her, uh, what, niece, right? Like, so it's always been somebody that is close or family. And the question with the upcoming Scream film is, do they kind of stick to that script, right? Does this become somebody that is either close to her, right? Maybe it's the, the nanny or it's her best friend or it's somebody that has relation or, you know, a relationship, not bloodline, uh, or it'll be a bloodline, Right. Now, I hope it's not something where it's like the brother's cousin's nephew's uncle is here or anything like that, but they could go the route of like a family member, right? Problem is she doesn't have very many family members. And one of the things that I've seen people throw out when I've talked about, you know, potential motives and rumors and stuff like that have gone out, I've seen a lot of people throw out the possibility of Sydney's daughter. Now, Sydney is supposed to have children in this film how old they will be in this film. We'll find out. We'll see. She obviously has got some little ones because we saw her pushing a stroller, but there is a very real possibility that maybe she has a daughter that is at the age of, you know, 16 or 15 or something like that, right? It's a very real possibility. And so I've seen people throw out the possibility or the, the idea of like, oh, it would be cool to kind of see that conflict of her having to face down her daughter and the decision of like, do I, am I really going to have to kill my daughter to save the rest of my family? Be that real struggle, be that real conflict, right? This is something that would kind of also tie in to like a Scream 4. Now, obviously it wasn't Sydney's daughter, but it was a relative and it was somebody that she knew and was familiar with and really was shocked, hurt, and surprised by. Right? It was somebody that would kind of go into, into that territory, right? Which, go off of Scream 5 and 6, kind of makes sense, right? She's They really have kind of carbon copied or taken inspiration, we'll call it, from the other Scream films to make 5 and 6. Now, me personally, if I'm being honest, before we continue to dive into this, I don't like that idea. I don't necessarily want that to be a thing. Um, not just because, like, you know, I know most people's ideas are like, no, like, no, let Sydney have a happy ending. Don't make it that, that you know, where she basically has to destroy her family because of that and whatnot. I don't really feel that way. To me, it, that's not why I don't want it to happen. I actually think you can explore and have all kinds of just interesting directions because this is a horror franchise, right? And I think that you could spawn all kinds of different things if that were the case. But we'll touch on that here in a second. Uh, but the main reason is just, I just think that that becomes kind of more of the same. It becomes too predictable and it's another family member. And it's just like, I want a little more creativity than like Mark Kincaid, her husband that she's had for the last 12 years or whatever turns on her. Like to me, stuff like that, it's silly, right? Like let's, let's get back to, you know, original storytelling. But as far as like going the route of like the daughter, right? Like I do think that that would present an interesting dynamic, right? If we're going to stick with the, the pros of it, I think it would cause an interesting dynamic to where, you know, you could have something where, you know, this film, if the rumors are true, again, rumors take it with a grain of salt, but if the rumors are true, then the talk is that this film is going to be centered kind of on the hate for Sidney Prescott. And I would imagine with that, you're going to have things where the children maybe are impacted, right? Where there is this form of bullying maybe, or, or her kids have to deal with the struggle of being Sidney Prescott's daughter. So that could kind of be the motive, right? To where it's like, you know, why are you doing this? Well, 
you know, my life has been a nightmare. My life has been a living hell because of you. All because of you. If I can get rid of you, I can have a normal life finally, right? Like you'd have a very easy motive as to why she wants to go after Sydney, right? It's the like, I hate you because of this. And it's kind of like this full circle thing, right? Where the, the son murdered the mother, uh, Sydney's mother, that is Maureen. And now you have the daughter trying to emulate that. So you have like connections to the past. You got the story for now. You got the Scream 4 connections. Like there's a lot that you can kind of, you know, kind of tie into and tie back to. I also think post, right? Because they're going to make more movies. They want to make more movies. And there's thoughts of keeping it Sydney focused going forward if this one does well. If you made Sydney's daughter the the killer, now you you could have this real sort of just like dark struggle going forward, right? So like Scream 8 could tie in and, you know, be shortly after. And her and Mark are dealing with the not only the loss of their daughter, but the fact that they had to take out their daughter and the impact to the other children, the impact on them and their lives, right? Like you could have this like new wave of like Sydney and Mark are both broken. Like there's just a lot that you could explore in that regard. I think if you have the proper story, proper execution, proper delivery, I definitely think it could work. I just, again, kind of feel like it would just be a little more of the same. It's like another family member wants to kill Sydney, right? But I do think it's it's an easy, an easy kind of route to go. It's like, well, yeah, you know, she, you have the daughter who's very hurt and upset and all that. So like, that's, it's kind of my thoughts with that, like, I don't know. I, I don't hate the idea again of it. I just, I just don't prefer it. It's not something that I personally want. And again, I know a lot of people, they're going to look at it as like, no, like they want Sydney to have this happy ending. They want Sydney to have everything kind of wrapped up and tied up into a bow. You know, she takes down Ghostface, her family's in danger. You got super mom, uh, you know, getting ready to protect her children and, you know, she's doing everything that she can, takes out Ghostface, and then her and her family are safe and happy, right? But, I mean, the, the, and here's the thing about always having Sydney in these films, right? She's never going to have peace. She's never going to have happiness. It's the whole point of her returning, right? Like, and people want her to continue to be in these films. So you can't have her have a happy ending and then constantly continue to be in this film, Right? You can't have the ha like you can't have both. If she's gonna have a happy ending, then she's gotta have a happy ending. Right? This is it, you do the film, and then you move on from her. Right? But if you want to continue to have Sydney in these films and you want to continue to tell stories, at some point there's gonna have to be, you know, weak points in the armor, so to speak. There's gonna have to be points in which, you know, she is broken and she is hurt. Because it can't just be the same thing over and over again where she's good, life's happy. She's attacked. She's super mom. You know, she's, you know, or Tatum said, bam, super bitch, right? Like, at some point, you gotta, you gotta cause some stir. You can't constantly have this safeness to these films, right? Like, at some point, it's like, okay, we got, we gotta do something different. And to me, it's like, I mean, they even explored killing Sydney, like, Wes Craven even explored killing Wes, uh, Sydney Prescott. I don't think you can kill Sydney at this point, but I do think that, you know, her daughter and whatnot being taken out, I do think is a point of, like, okay, here's some vulnerability. Here's some issues and concerns. Here's here's her, her breaking point type thing. Now you kind of get her into her psyche and stuff and tell different unique stories going forward. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. I'll pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you like the idea? Do you think, uh, no, like, can't you can't have Sydney kids come after? No, you gotta, gotta stay away from that. Um, do you like the idea and, like, think, like, yeah, no, like, it would be cool to kind of have Sydney's daughter uh, be the one that's, like, trying to go after and take out Sydney because now you're in this position where Sydney has to go through that struggle and then you could set up a nice story after that cause some conflict, cause some trouble. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. 
What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.